What's up guys, Game Nut here, and welcome back to some more Madden 19 Ultimate Team. It's been a while. How you guys doing, man? Hopefully all of your guys' Ultimate Teams are coming along nicely. Let me know what overall you guys are for your Ultimate Team down in the comments below, because as for us right now, we are, we're not so good. I mean, we're currently sitting as just an 83 overall team right now, and we've got a lot of work to do, and as you guys can probably tell by the title, and from the last episode, I told you guys we were going to be doing a lot of improvements with our defense, and you guys can see right now, we already have ourselves a hole at the strong safety position, which we will get into in just a second you guys will understand why so just a quick update on a couple of our master cards of course level master ricky williams he is now an 87 overall the stats are looking a lot better on this card as we continue to upgrade him and our mutt master ryan shazier he's a 78 overall but i got a couple more of those collectibles was able to boost him up to now an elite status we've got him as an 80 overall you guys can see the, the border of the card actually changed but the stats still really aren't all that great and honestly it doesn't even really matter from this point forward if i continue to keep upgrading my shazier because as you guys can probably tell by the title we're going to be uh pretty much reshifting our entire defense well i shouldn't say our entire defense at least the middle linebacker position which obviously as you guys know is where shazier plays so he's going to be sitting down there at the number three spot of our middle linebacker now so he's not really going to be seeing the field a whole lot further from this point on in our season but as you guys can see we do need ourselves two starting middle linebackers a left outside linebacker a strong safety like i did mention earlier and we're also going to get ourselves a defensive tackle number one now as you guys can see here we got a pack on the screen and this was from what doing one of my solo challenges and for the reward we got an elite player pack and out of nowhere pops out this bobby wagner now let me tell you guys i was not expecting this whatsoever i think this was from my campaign solo challenges and one of like the bonus objectives if you did something you got an elite player so i was like of course i've got to go ahead and make sure i try and do that which i did i wasn't expecting to get an 88 overall bobby wagner out of the pack it was just absolutely insane to see now on top of having the 88 bobby wagner that we just pulled i wish you guys could see it is an nat i also went out and got myself the power up version of bobby wagner put all the training points into that card combined the 88 overall core elite with it and now you guys can see we've got bobby wagner powered up he is an 89 overall and man do the stats on this card look really good man it is going to be fun using this guy as our middle linebacker i mean 90 hit power 90 tackle 90 play recognition and 82 speed bobby wagner looks like an absolute beast man i could not be more excited but now next up let's go ahead and uh let's look at our mystery player as you guys can see this is obviously the card that i left you guys with all at the end of the last episode once we go ahead and reveal who this guy is we all do see that it is going to be 87 overall team diamond avery williamson shout out to those of you guys who were able to guess this correctly he is going to be matched up right next to bobby wagner as our middle linebacker you guys can see the stats 80 speed 89 tackle 86 hit power 88 block shed and 91 play recognition now the way that i got this team diamond i didn't buy him off of the auction house i actually went ahead and completed the set for him which is why you guys know our strong safety was jamal adams he's sitting up there in the set you know he had uh, went ahead and contributed towards us getting that middle linebacker so it was for a good cause jamal adams played decent while he was on our team but got to go ahead and get myself some of them team diamonds because i really want to try and hopefully get towards uh getting that ronnie lot eventually but since obviously jamal adams is now gone we have to get ourselves a new strong safety for the moment and as you guys can see we went ahead on the auction house picked up this 84 overall dj swearinger so after that we've got ourselves another pack here as you guys can see this is our rookie gauntlet champion fantasy pack and most of you guys probably already know what this is you guys probably finished these like the first week of uh you know when ultimate team or when mad 19 first dropped as you guys can see we've got one choice of five rookies that we can bring to our team all of them are 87 overalls we got jari alexander rashawn evans dj Moore. Baker Mayfield and Vita Vea and the choice that I'm going to be picking up obviously you guys probably know what position we need on our team right now is our defensive tackle we've got Vita Vea from the Buccaneers this is a card that I see on like everybody's team or at least you know a couple weeks ago and the card was just an absolute monster I mean anytime I went against this card it was just like instant block sheds for this guy so he looks like an absolute beast with that 91 strength and last but not least we've got to go ahead get ourselves a left outside linebacker a new pass rusher to match up with Terrell Suggs on the other side so we're going to be getting ourselves a veteran clay matthews he's 87 overall if we look at the stats 78 speed you know isn't isn't too good but obviously we don't really need a whole lot of speed as a pass rusher but he has 88 block shed and 88 power moves so i'm thinking clay matthews is going to sit very nicely there as our left outside linebacker so there you guys have it that is going to be all of the upgrades for today's episode you guys can see the defense we've got our two middle linebackers we've got avery williamson and bobby wagner and of course we've got clay matthews dj swearinger and vita vea all sitting now on the defense so no changes have been made to the offense 
offense from the last episode outside of the fact that we upgraded Ricky Williams a little bit. Next episode is where we're going to be putting some more attention over there and bringing some new players over to our offense to hopefully, you know, bolster them down a little bit, making them a more powerful offense and, you know, hopefully start scoring some more points. But as you guys can see, our current head-to-head -head season, we are an 84 overall team, two wins on the season, no losses. Let's go ahead and see if we can rack up a couple more wins now that we got ourselves a nice new defense. to the NFL on EA Sports. With me as always, Charles Davis. So I feel like the first couple of episodes for Ultimate Team this year that I've put out, I really haven't done a good job of putting a whole lot of gameplay into those episodes. I mean, there's a couple reasons for that. Either my opponents are quitting early, or there's just a lot of players that I'm bringing into my team. So that takes up a lot of time. So today, I kind of tried to shorten that a little bit, as you guys can probably tell. And we are going to have two gameplays in today's episode. So as we start things off, as you guys can see, my opponent, he did have that 91 Trophy Master, David Johnson. We get ourselves a nice user tag in the backfield there with Bobby Wagner so no good start for our new defensive players then the next play Mike Vick is going to go to a quick out route to Antonio Brown Jalen Ramsey is going to come out with the tackle third and four Mike Vick all day in the pocket we almost get the interception off of that. That was Bobby Wagner who actually put his hand up, got the tip, and it was Mike Daniels who almost got the pick off of it. But now it is fourth and four. My opponent gotcha, bitch. is, of course, going to go for it because why not? And Tavon Young, my guy, I absolutely love this card. I just hope at some point during this year in Ultimate Team they give him an upgrade from this 80 overall because the 80 plays like a machine for me. I tell you guys this all the time, and I'm glad you guys can finally see it there showcased. He gets a beautiful interceptional fourth down, and on offense, it only took one play and one spin move for Ricky Williams to go in for the game's first touchdown, but uh, apparently my opponent decided to throw his PlayStation out the window. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me as always, Charles Davis. So we got one win. Let's go ahead and jump into the second game, see if we can get ourselves two wins in today's episode. But as you guys can see with my opponent's top three, a lot of these people have that new ultimate kickoff, Luke Keekley as their middle linebacker. My opponent actually has them boosted up all the way as a 95 overall, which is crazy. So we definitely have to, have to watch out for that middle linebacker position. But as you guys can see here, my offense as of lately, I'm not, you know, trying to boast or anything like that or, you know, say anything special, but... I've been playing really well on offense, and that's definitely credit to, to one individual. Shout out to you. You know who you are. But anyways, you guys can see here on third and five, we've got Antonio Brown all the way for a touchdown. Absolutely beautiful pass from Jimmy Garoppolo, which he hasn't been doing too well for me. Honestly, we might have to swap out our quarterback pretty soon here. But first play was a handoff to Ezekiel Elliott. Third and eight is what we brought my opponent up to on a couple plays later. But he does find Antonio Brown for the completion and a big pickup of a first down. So next play, we've got... Now, Barry Sanders taking the handoff, but I think that was Avery Williamson with the tackle. So it's kind of difficult to tell which one is who for our two middle linebackers because they're both number 54. So I kind of just have to you know, like sit there and look at them a little bit to see really who it is. But next play, my opponent now has Todd Gurley with the handoff. First and 10 following play. Now it's Saquon Barkley. Wait a minute. How many running backs does this dude have? That is four to start off this game already that he's given a handoff to. Like, how, how many running backs do you need on your team? But second and seven, Clay Matthews. There is the guy coming up with the first sack being on our team. I always just love whenever we have new players on our team, seeing them make big-time plays. So on third and 13 now... Oh, man, dude, he's so lucky. I was just short of being able to not only grab that interception, maybe, but also putting a big hit on Jerry Rice. He finds him for the big completion, so that now is going to lead us into the second quarter of this game. Now he's got one of his four running backs back in. That's Barry Sanders. He's He's got another one. Okay, here's Todd Gurley once again. Like, does this guy, like, literally give one carry to one running back and constantly swap him out? That is, like, the weirdest thing I think I've ever seen. But on third down, don't really know why he tried to run the ball there. It brought up a fourth down, and he is going to settle for his field goal currently sitting at a 7-3 game as we have the ball right now. So on 3rd and 11, Jimmy G is going to find T.O. underneath. Barely, and I mean barely, picks up the first down. A play later on 2nd and 7. We are going with the exact same play because beforehand, I saw Jimmy Graham wide open. And again, once we run this play, we got Jimmy Graham wide open. Big pickup. We are all the way on the other side of the 50 now. It is a 1st and 10 for Jimmy Garoppolo. I could kind of tell that the way my opponent was playing... He wasn't going to be ready for the PA cross or cheese. I have to run it every now and then, guys. I I, I hate when people run it on me, but you got to do it sometimes. Going ahead, Antonio Brown gets the big completion. But wait a minute, T.O., what are you doing? He's like in the Matrix or something. He just started like going slow motion on me on the wide receiver screen. 
I, I don't really know what that was, but unfortunately, no yards were picked up after that wide receiver screen, so we had to go ahead, take our field goal. This game is now 10-3. to We got ourselves a pretty good game right now, but we're heading into the second half of this game, second and 11 for my opponent, Terrell Suggs, coming up with the sack. Now, that's his first of this game. Third and 14 for my opponent, Drew Brees in the pocket, looking deep. Gotcha, bitch. And he is going to find our free safety, Glover Quinn, for the interception. Ooh, hit stick by Antonio Brown, though. We got ourselves the pick on defense, and just like that, we are taking things over. Got a chance to go up here. Two possessions now on my opponent. So, first and ten. We've got a lot of blitzers coming there from the left side. Going to try and scramble out a little bit. Antonio Brown. Oh, my God. Antonio Brown is out here taking names and taking ankles. He just destroyed two defenders with one juke move how do you like that going up in this game now 17 to 3 both touchdowns are to our guy antonio brown wow this offense man i'm telling you it has been much improved in the past couple of weeks since i've been playing this game man ab what an absolutely amazing play for the touchdown so as we are back out on defense you guys can see we've got clay matthews now coming up with sacks that is his second of this game third and 11 he finds jerry rice towards the sideline he almost broke that for a touchdown if jalen ramsey or actually i should say if he wasn't towards the sideline there gotcha bitch and on second and 13 with 20 seconds left in the third quarter that is avery williamson who's getting the interception and taking it all the way to the house I mean, Clay Matthews has two sacks. Avery Williamson has an interception. You gotta love when your new players start making big plays. Gotcha, bitch. And Williamson isn't done. The first play back out on offense for my opponent, and he throws another pick directly to the hands of Avery Williamson. What a game this guy's having, man. Two interceptions so far in this game for this guy. And I'm not gonna lie, at this point in the game, once I start getting like a comfortable lead on my opponents when I play online on Madden, you know, hence right here, we've got ourselves a 21 point lead. I start playing kind of stupid on offense. I start trying to force passes that aren't there just to see if I can actually complete them and whatnot. Gotcha, bitch. But honestly, it doesn't even matter because now DJ Swearinger wanted to get in on this interception party, man. He now grabs an interception for himself. That is our third total pick for our defense in this game, man. And things are just going absolutely great. And again, once I said beforehand, there's not really any new offensive highlights to show you guys because like i said just wasn't really getting anything going forcing some stupid stuff but there is one last defensive play i need to show you guys gotcha bitch and that is of course bobby wagner he had to join in on the interceptions as well we get ourselves a user pick with bobby wagner and that is going to finish off this game we have one last play with one second left tried to go with a fade route to antonio brown that was just absolutely terrible attempt at that but we grab ourselves the victory here two wins in today's episode and man this defense is looking amazing they are going in the right direction man i'm so happy with the way that this team is playing right now look at Avery Williamson after the game's over going to the, all the players on the other team he's like yeah I picked you guys off twice I did that but anyways like I said two wins for today's episode that puts us at a 4-0 and record and yeah like I said this defense man they are killing it right now and I'm just loving the way that this team has been coming together now however on the offense as you guys can see we're definitely going to be making some changes here in the next episode specifically one of those I'm thinking might be the quarterback I'm not really too sure yet I mean Jimmy Garoppolo up until this point has definitely Definitely played really well for us but at this point in ultimate team I mean we're two months into the game now like an 82 overall quarterback just isn't going to be able to get the job done I mean you guys don't really see it because I don't really show him in the episode but there's a, quite a few times when he overthrows receivers or underthrows them and whatnot and it's just like I don't know how much further I can handle that so usually I like to stick with one quarterback for a full season try and make it to the Super Bowl with them but I think it might be time for Jimmy G to go but that is going to do it for today's episode you guys hopefully all of you did enjoy thank you guys all so much for watching if you guys are new make sure you sub to the channel leave a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy it and I will catch you all in the next one take it easy guys peace out